Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, solid state drive, and heat sink assembly. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the right light module ZIF connector and disconnect the right light module ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the right speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the webcam cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the left speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the left light module ZIF connector and disconnect the left light module ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the rear light module cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Remove the 5 mm hex screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Caution! To avoid damage, ensure that the display panel, right light module ribbon, right speaker, touch pad board ribbon, keyboard ribbon, keyboard backlight ribbon, webcam, left speaker, left light module ribbon, power button board ribbon, rear light module, and power connector cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the 5 mm hex screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Replace the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Connect the rear light module cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the left light module ribbon cable into the left light module ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the left speaker cable into its connector on the system board. 
connect the webcam cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the right speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the right light module ribbon cable into the right light module ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the display panel cable onto its connector on the system board. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post installation tasks as required that may include Verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.